So we're making marginal but yet significant gains in relation to improving the energy availability factor, the efficiency of the ESCOM units. On Friday, the 2nd of, of June, we reached a significant milestone. We're at about 60% of the energy availability factor, and this is ahead of the three units at Kusile coming on stream. So we're buoyant about the prospects of at least reducing the intensity of load shedding and also its frequency. Then number of days where we were experiencing load shedding and the fact that uh, uh, during a, a winter day you can have a period where there's no load shedding it's a significant day it's a significant milestone of course it's not sufficient because we must get, must get to a stage where there's no late shedding at all and that's why we are relying on a new generation capacity outside ESCOM and today we have come to to monitor the progress that is made on the Redstone uh, project uh, is the single biggest uh, renewable energy project in the country country by value of investment about 12 billion rands there's 1600 workers here on site uh, 40 percent of them are local 90 percent of them are south african from other parts of uh, of the country so it's significant in that uh, instance uh, and of course uh, concentrated solar power is uh, a new energy source uh, essentially illustrating that this additional new innovations in the generation space and the point to be made is that yes uh, the initial intention it was uh, meant to come on stream in October but because of issues of force majeure we anticipate that early next year it will come on on stream but we are very confident so the important thing is to build the energy sovereignty for the country we need to look beyond the ESCOM generation capacity we look into solutions like this and many other renewable energy projects and that's why we'll be going on the next big bit windows for renewable energy so that uh, there's a mix healthy mix of uh, fuel sources or energy sources and of course we are transitioning towards a, a fossil free uh, economy in the country and this is really the hallmark of what the, the country can achieve and we are very proud of uh, the, the pace uh, the cadence of uh, the transition and the fact that uh, we are at the same time uh, getting to grips with uh, resolving uh, load shedding of course uh, winter is still going to be very difficult we're still expe expecting very cold uh, weather going into the future the next three uh, to, to five weeks will be significant but we are confident that we should be able to keep it to to a lower intensity of load shedding and once we come out of winter like I said to the general public we keep on improving the energy availability factor We're working with the private sector as I speak to you there's additional capacity we have placed at Mark, Lakril, Kendall and Majuba to help us to improve the energy availability factor so we are deliberate we are precise intentional about that which we want to do we accept the fact that people are in impatient they are aggrieved they are despondent but this is to show that we are making progress we'll be able to defeat load shedding you spoke talking about uh, the next bit window in terms of renewable energy what are we looking at when is it starting and how fast do you want that to progress so we're looking at uh, a combination of pb pv and wind about uh, 5000 megawatts uh, we're looking at 1200 uh, uh, battery storage 2000 1200 megawatts of batteries uh, battery storage we're looking at uh, 3000 megawatts of gas we're looking to import about 1000 megawatts of energy from uh, neighboring countries we want to do that uh, uh, by by mid July would have uh, gone out and what is key also in uh, going out with regards to the next bid window is to ensure that with regards to renewable energy we are able to match uh, the location of uh, this uh, renewable energy uh, project to where there's grid capacity because the major problem is grid capacity you see you saw in the last bid window 3000 megawatt was unallocated because uh, there was no grid capacity so we, we, we're going to match uh, if you like projects to grid capacity so that we are able to connect them on stream as soon as possible and then we're also working with ESCOM on the transmission development plan essentially is about the strengthening of the grid the expansion of the lines uh, the, the computation that ESCOM has done you'll need about 210 billion rands to do that but we need to plan now so that we are able to accommodate the, the kind of transition that we want new energy sources going into the future so it's a parallel process as you go out of, with regards to to the big windows you need to um, uh, uh, expand the lines and then also strengthen the grid so that the south african economy and her people can benefit from new generation sources